<laughs> okay, so film festivals. They are pretty much the one place where you take movies to pretty much shine. Pretty much them to just get, you know, in the limelight, people to watch them. But sometimes film festivals aren't that great. I mean, I mean I've been to a couple and they're pretty shit. But mm. there's undoubtedly one film festival that is the best. The Oscars. It's not a film festival. That is an award show and a damn bad one at some times. You know what? Yeah. Sorry. No. Cons. Mm. And you know goddamn well that cons is a fucking fantastic, fantastic display of just film. Mm. I mean, those movies are just remembered from just... Pretty much, if your movie goes to Cannes Film Festival, we're going to be talking about it for a very long time. Yeah, it's 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 pretty much considered a fucking gem if it was ever shown at Cannes mm. because if they selected it to be shown there, it must be fucking good. Mm. But sadly, some movies are not so lucky. Some movies will just get thrown into obscurity and just never heard from again until it's unfortunate, especially when it's in. A uh, festival this large. Yeah, something this big. So you should understand that cons is huge. Yet, the movie we're talking about today was shown at cons, was celebrated at cons, mm. yet probably none of you have ever heard of it. So, whatever. Without further ado, welcome to Obscure Views. All right, so let me take you back two years. I had, okay, I had never heard of this film. I had no idea what the fuck it was. And this fucker just calls me up and all of a sudden, you were giving me like high praise of it. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the internet and uh, you guys know Drew McQueenie. He's a great uh, film reviewer. Um, I'm watching some video with him and he's talking about movies that uh, nobody talks about. And he brings up this movie called Clean Shaven and he's pissed off that no one's ever talks about Clean Shaven and talking about how the director got a bad break. And so I, what's this movie? I need to see this. So I watch it and am jaw dropped the entire time. I watch it start to finish. I don't go to stand up to pee, nothing, right? I call Ray up immediately and I'm like, you need to watch this movie. Yeah. You know, of course, I'm just like, no. Nah. I, mean, I think that day I was like, yeah, I don't feel like doing anything. I, mean, I don't, I don't want to watch a fucking movie. I mean, granted, I do fucking trust your, you know, you yeah, respect yeah. their movies, but I was like, it's also one of those things too where it's like you know Tim's calling me he wants me to watch this art movie I'd rather watch something blow up like you know but of course like you know it's stereotypical me, me and you were like dude just shut the fuck up and watch five minutes of it mm. and if you don't want to watch it stop watching it and tell me I'm mm. like okay I found it on Hulu click play I didn't call him for another 90 minutes because obviously I watched the full fucking movie yeah and essentially this movie is just fucking wow mm. it it's like a, a perfect, a perfect example, or I guess in this case, personification or filmification of what schizophrenia is like. I mean, this movie is just terrifying yet beautiful to watch and it's just the most fucked up way possible. Um, it's just nerve wracking. And, mm -hmm. and if this comes anywhere close to what people with schizophrenia experience, this is just, I mean, I'm Holy, it's an experience. You need to watch this movie just for the experience. But, but not only that, the movie itself is fantastic. Oh, okay, so good. Yeah. I mean, it's fucking, you know, shot beautifully. Mm -hmm. And like, what were you saying about this fucking audio? Oh, I think it's one of the best, like, mixed films next to uh, the conversation of all times. If you're gonna watch this, you need to watch it in a room. I don't care if you're by yourself, but everyone needs to shut up. You need to have the speakers on. It needs to be a quiet house. You need to experience this as a soundscape. It's a fantastic, and the whole movie, like the whole time as you're, you're watching, like obviously you know it's like a, it's not just a visual and auditory experience. And also the story, it's like you don't know what's happening, you don't know what's going on. What's ha also the actor Peter uh, Peter Green, yeah. who is uh, if you know movies, he's from uh, Usual Suspects. He's the Dorian in the Mask. And he's also in uh, Pulp Fiction. We won't talk about that. Cut scene right there. Let's move it out here. <laughs> and uh, regardless, um, but yeah, besides those movies, like he does a fucking an amazing, an amazing job. It really is a shame that this guy has kind of disappeared as far as in films go, because I'm mean, judging on this movie alone, he's a fantastic actor. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy as hell that he has all those other roles. I mean, he's he's famous. Like he, he yeah, he, he'll get recognized in the street. But it's like if he just made this one movie and it was never, I mean, my God, he's one of the best actors and he, 
doesn't even show in those other movies. The other one's like, he's just a side character. Mm. Here, he's the freaking leading role, and he just has you hooked. So, I mean, the whole movie's from his point of view, like, and the whole time. It's it's torturous just to see the kind of shit that he would be experiencing. And you are there with him, and you just want shit to stop. Also, maybe I didn't mention this before, and also, I'm glad you're watching this movie, or watching this video. But, um, if you're at all, um, squeamish, squeamish, squeezy, squeezy. Yeah. You don't like nerving like the side of blood. If you don't like someone rubbing their fingers like on the side of a, like one of those like couches like with all that plastic on, yeah. like you know snails on a chalkboard. You're not gonna watch this movie because it will just get under your skin and legitimately it will get under your skin. It will just feel really wrong, but it will be an experience that you will actually enjoy. It's a damn good movie, mm. not just an experience. I've said it before, like. Oh yeah, you just watch this. It's a terrible game, but it's good an experience. No, it's a great film. Even uh, Roger Ebert, he freaking um, gave it three and a half stars. Pretty much saying that this movie is fantastic. Not only, you know, pretty much uh, exemplifying what uh, schizophrenia is like, but also as a film itself, it is freaking amazing. So, I'm just giving this movie praise. Um, it is very, very, very fucked up. I mean... There are scenes where even us were like gore hounds, like, yeah, this is fucking awesome. The guy got his head chopped off. This one, it's more like anything with a knife uh, trying to just. Uh... And uh, the director, we're talk we keep talking about the fantastic direction and the soundscape and everything, and it wouldn't be possible without Lodge Kerrigan, the director. This... And the writer and the producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, This guy, I mean, I think he's a forgotten genius. This guy did everything by himself. The movie fell into budgetary shit, and he still just did what he could. He grabbed the camera and the microphone. There's some sh shots that are really kind of wild, beautiful still looking, where you can tell he's just getting it done. Yeah, you can tell the budget's going, yet he still keeps the quality mm. just up. It's like, oh, we need a lower quality camera. Good, because I'm going to use it for the grain. I'm like, beautiful. I mean, that's that's genius, like working with what you have exactly. and still making something. I mean, it's epic. And, okay, and, and bottom line, all this stuff, we, we, you know, we're just praising this movie because it was at cons, and you know what, it deserved that, it fucking deserved to go cons, and you know what, I'm honestly pissed as, uh, what was his name? The, Lodge the, Kerrigan? No, no, the, the reviewer. Oh, Drew McQueen. Drew McQueen. Yeah. I'm, after watching this movie, I can understand his fucking outrage, it's just, he's, he's pissed off that no one's ever heard of this film, are you kidding me? Because this movie should not be forgotten, mm. this movie should be watched by film lovers everywhere, because it is, it's a film. That's a weird way to say it, but it's... It's, it earned the title of being a film. If at all you're, if you're at all interested, if you like messed up, like, you know, things that deal with like, you know, mental illness or like just, if you're at all interested in a movie that moves so slowly yet so nerve wrackingly fast, it's, it's weird. It's weird to explain it, but it's a fantastic film. I, I, I'm just praising it, but at the same time, like, I don't want to ruin anything for you mm. because not only that, but there's also like, you know, like there's, there's like, um, what's it called? Uh, like a storyline of like a detective. It's a, it's, it's a bunch of other things and things will get you angry. I mean, there was a certain scene of the librarian. I guess all I'm going to mm. give you in context. I wanted to slap her in the fucking face. And also, I just want to make this clear. It's not like a drama filled movie, like, you know, a movie like, oh, you know, guy in a bed. And it's like, I understand people, there's a, there's a, you know, market for that. But this movie is a thriller through and through. Mm. Kind of a horror film too, in some instances. Um, if you're at all, if you're not squeamish, if you are willing to take it on, I highly recommend watching Clean Shaven. I was left for dead with the 25 caliber bullet lodged in my head about one inch from my spinal cord. As a result of this violent act, my life is Well, that's the video. And uh, again, can't give this movie enough praise. It's it's. If you guys want to watch it, it's on Hulu right now. I would seek it out immediately. Um, if you have Hulu, hell, get a, a free month subscription just to watch this movie. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's worth it. It's fucking worth it. Again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys later.